ladies and gentlemen, we just found the nicest two Class B vans on the market side by side. This is the Airstream Interstate Class B van, and over here we have the Gretsch Strata Class B. Now these, to my knowledge, are the two most expensive Class B vans on the market right now. These are both 2023s, so today I wanna go through both of these vans side by side and share with you guys what I like and don't like about these two vans. Now both of these vans are available in very similar floor plans, and they both have one big option, which I think is definitely worth the money either way, whichever van you go with. And that option that I think is a must is the lithium battery package, which is a very expensive option, but I think it's definitely a must for either van. So the Airstream Interstate is gonna have a starting MSRP of 237,000, $460. The Gretsch Strata is gonna have an MSRP starting at $225,900. When you add the lithium package to the Airstream Interstate, it's gonna bump that price up to $262,160. The Gretsch Strata Ion with the lithium package has an MSRP of $244,900. Both of these vans are available in different floor plans and different models and here we have a side-by-side -side price comparison of the two different vans we can see that the difference in price fluctuates depending on which model it is and whether it has the lithium battery system or not the Gretsch is going to be less expensive and the price difference fluctuates depending on model and whether it has the lithium batteries or not between $4,700 and $17,460. So Gretsch definitely has the advantage when it comes to price. One of the big advantages that the Gretsch does have is the lithium battery capacity is about 35% more than the Airstream Interstate. So the Gretsch is using a lithionic system and the Airstream Interstate has the Volta 4 system. And we'll talk more about those lithium systems in a moment, but I want to compare a few things on the exterior of these vans. Now, the first big difference that I want to point out is the Airstream Interstate is going to have all of these different portholes for your water inlet, your 30 amp, all of that good stuff. And the Gretsch over here, you can see they completely shaved it. So they actually hid all of that equipment behind this panel right here. Definitely a really clean look. That is a big advantage for Gretsch in my opinion. Now the front end of this Airstream, it has almost a little bit wider look. I do really like that Airstream badge up front there. It does have the full body paint, that new updated Mercedes-Benz styling. Really a good looking front end. And then you've also got the side skirts here around the van. Nice Airstream badging. This is something I really don't like on both vans. This black plastic. I wish this was full body paint. This stuff just doesn't wear as well as the full body paint does. You've got the big awning on this side as well. So over here on the Gretsch, the big awning up top. And this is a little bit different styling here. When you look at this side panel, I think I like the Gretsch styling just a little bit more. It's a little bit more of a sleek line where the Airstream has a little bit more going on there. Uh, they both look pretty good. And then the Gretsch has a real sleek front end as well. Little different. I kind of like that it's more symmetrical where the Airstream badge was off to the left. And I did just catch a, a couple hundred miles of bugs on this van uh, making my way up here to film both of these side by side. This particular van does have the LP generator and that LP generator is running right now. So I want you guys to be able to get a sense of the noise. And for me, that's the biggest downside of having a generator is the noise and then the fumes. If you're somewhere, you just don't want to have those generator fumes where the lithium battery right now, the ACs are running and there's no additional noise making. So we've got the ACs running in both on a hot floor today. And I wanna go take a look inside, but real quick, I wanna show you guys, there's just a couple more ports here that I noticed, these Furion outlets, which I like that it does have the outlets here on the outside, but I don't know if it's worth sacrificing that sleek look. Then the rear end here, you can see it's got the hitch cover on both vans. 
Then the Gretsch has a nice sleek uh, hitch cover here on the rear of the van as well. The Gretsch does have those same black plastic rear view mirrors and hood scoops there. I just plastic stuff coming from the detail industry does not hold up very well over time. So there is a product called Solution Finish actually. Just a random shout out to that product. When I was in my detail days, that's the product that I found the best for restoring these black plastics. You do have one of these vans or if you do have a vehicle with black plastics that start to wear Solution Finish. And I don't even know if it's on Amazon. If it's on Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description below. But let's go inside of both of these vans. We've got the keys to both of these vans and they have an option that I have absolutely love both of these doors you just press that button walk right in but this is the gp floor plan in the airstream interstate this floor plan they have in the airstream interstate as well with the closet and the refrigerator up front is going to be the gt floor plan grand tour both floor plans are available and i don't think there's any difference in pricing now a lot of you have seen the video i did on this van this is the van i picked up a couple months ago in california but let's take a look inside of this airstream interstate and, and as we walk into the airstream beautiful lighting and i really like the ceiling then you have a nice little storage area down here i like that if you're traveling with multiple people it's really nice to have this floor plan with the captain's chairs we'll just press this button we do have that ac blowing nice and ice cold here so now airstream is a company that's been around for a long time they're probably one of the most iconic brands in america over the last several decades so there's a lot of value and a lot of those cool little airstream touches and then taking that and pairing it with the mercedes sprinter chassis the airstream interstate is just an absolute home run so let's look around a little more in this van so in this floor plan with the captain's chairs you do sacrifice having that closet right here and the airstream does put their bathroom on the passenger side which for me i kind of don't like that because that's in my blind spot if i open up all of the blinds i can still see out of the window now these are very similar vans with the touch screen here we're going to see the gretch in a moment but you turn your batteries on We've got the generator running with the AC going right now. Press one button for Shade Master down. And I like the lighting here in the Airstream. All one touch of a button. You've got a lot of storage overhead here. Nice quality cabinets. Here's another panel with your controls. Big beefy hinges. Looks like it's got a Xantrax uh, inverter. Your power control system. And I think these both come in very similar color combinations. They're just very similar vans, but here's the MSRP on this particular interstate. This does have the leveling jacks, which is a $7,500 option. So this van is $243,900 total. So this is almost the same price as the Gretsch van with the lithium package, which is a huge advantage. But going into the galley here, you do have the contour cooking, nice little refrigerator, and this will all fold down into a bed the same way that the Gretsch does. You've got these buttons right here to do one at a time. I'm just gonna press that lounge button. And you can see when it uh, folds all the way down flat here, I'll give you guys a test. All right. Yeah, plenty of room. It's unbelievable how comfortable it is sleeping in the back of these Class B vans. The air conditioning unit in this Airstream Interstate is pretty loud. That's one of the complaints I have with the Gretsch Strata. But the plus to that is if you want a little white noise while you're sleeping at a night, you can run that AC unit and it will kind of drown out some of the other noise. You do have a nice TV back here as well. And I love those Airstream wall panels nice lighting there and i like this it's almost like a marine style window here on the bathroom door now right away i think this is a little bit smaller than the gretsch bathroom we're going to take a look at that in a second i'd have to get out i didn't bring my measuring tape here but i don't have a lot of headroom in either of these but they're very similar it's kind of a wet shower and we'll notice some other cool stuff in the gretsch that this doesn't have the airstream has this cool light around this vent up here with the fan. I think that light sets it off really nice. I don't know if the Gretsch has that. We'll see that in a second. 
And so the Airstream bathroom, I mean, it, they're very similar in size. I think the Gretsch might be a couple inches bigger, but they're very similar. You do have that cool little mirror in here as well. Nice cabinetry very similar cabinetry in both vans now in this floor plan there's a tv that swings down up here that would be a nice feature for your passengers here but the downside of that is for tall people like myself you could see there's a little smudge right there already it makes it a little bit tighter on headroom when you're coming in and out of the cab coming up to the cab up here in the airstream interstate it's really hard to tell the difference i mean this is all the same controls now i do like this stitching i think the airstream interstate added this a little extra stitching there i really like that you're gonna have all your same cruise control i also really like the airstream badge on the backrest of this seat super nice cockpit in both vans but now the airstream also has this camera up here and when i turn the turn signal on it's actually showing up here i think i prefer the gretsch personally because it's a wider screen this is a little bit smaller now this being higher up you may have you know better peripheral vision while you're looking here rather than down but i've been pretty happy at this eye level to still be able to see what's going on around me still check my mirrors and really i think this is a lot better than the mirrors probably in both vans just because you're really looking at that blind spot but having that extra you know four but we'll look at the gretch here in a second and if i'm missing anything in this video please drop a comment below i try to get you guys as much information as possible but I'm always learning and I'm sure there's little things that I have left out that some of you may want to remind me of. So now in the Gretsch, we can just press that button and I do have the AC running ice cold, that nice blue lighting. So we've got our control panel right here. We can just press one button, put all those shades down. And I do have this set up as a little mobile office back here right now. So this does have the Dometic AC unit. And I think the AC unit in the Airstream Interstate might have been a little more quiet. Now the big advantage to this floor plan up here is you've got this closet space up here. If you're bringing clothes and you want to keep your stuff neat and tight, definitely a lot of value to that. Now I want to do the bathroom test and I'm going to show you guys up here first what this looks like when we flip so you can see you don't have that monitor up here which i don't like the looks of that monitor i do have a mirror that i can see what's going on in the back of the van but when i turn that turn signal on it's just a huge clear screen i can see down the side of the van when i put it in reverse there i've got the 360 look uh, just a little bit bigger screen so that's one thing i like now i never noticed it but the Gretsch has these same leather wrap panels like that Interstate does. And I really like the Gretsch embroidery in the headrest there where the Airstream had a cool little badge in the seat. Both really cool. Both are gonna have those power seats, heated seats, power windows. I don't recall if the Airstream had the little extra grab handles there. Uh, that's a little option. And then having these little compartments up here, storage, rather than that tv is really nice i believe gretch does offer a tv up there in the floor plan with the lounge chairs as well now, i've got to go look back at the airstream but i really like the lighting on the floor here the little accent lighting and then going into the bathroom here the the gretch actually has similar lighting a little different with your vent with the fan up there and this is significantly bigger i feel like yeah definitely a lot wider I think the height is pretty similar, but definitely just a little bit bigger wet bath in this van. Nice little mirror here. I don't recall seeing that in the Airstream, but it could have been there. Then you've got your shower head that just attaches to the wall there. Super easy. Now the Gretsch bathroom does have this window shade. That is a huge advantage. It is closed right now, but if you do want to get a little view while you're on the pot, I like a little natural light. You might have a nice view there. Or some folks may uh, prefer the Airstream closed off. And then I do have this set up as a little workstation right now. This actually pivots out. This is pretty cool. I've got cameras uh, using the different charging stations. So we've got outlets right here. I'm going to go look back at the Airstream at what this configuration is with the bed up but this does swivel out and then this bed goes down pretty much the same way the airstream does all off of that touch panel 
I'm noticing the speakers up here and the deeper storage. Now that's one thing I really like about the Gretsch is how deep the storage is here in the back of the van. You've got cup holders down here as well as those outlets. And then we do have a TV back here as well as a, a Firefly panel up there where you can control all of that good stuff. Okay, let's go back into the Airstream and I just wanna compare that now that we just went through the Gretsch and that buzzer does turn on if we're running the engine. Turn that engine off and it'll quit buzzing, but we do have that little step that does come out when the door is open. It's nice to have a little reminder so you don't drive off while that is open. Now the wheels, I just noticed one other cool thing that Gretsch did. I do like that they put the Gretsch logo on the center cap. It's gonna be up front as well, and there's your cool Gretsch logo kind of ghosted into that stainless strip there. And then the Airstream Interstate just has the Alcoa badges there. Let's go back into this Interstate, and I wanna see what else I noticed that might be different. So, and I was originally gonna film a Gretsch that had the same exact floor plan, but they did sell that over the weekend, so I wasn't able to do that. I wanna check out this space here, and. Let's see how much storage is overhead. It's about the same, very similar space up there. The Gretsch might be a little bit deeper, but very similar sitting area back here. You do have outlets here, but I'm not seeing USB ports. You do have cup holders. There's your USB ports up front. I'm not seeing outlets over on this side either. You do have more cup holders here, but you do have more USB ports back there. So kind of a little different configuration. Now this is cool back here, these little kind of compartment cubbies back here. So now overall, Airstream is owned by Thor Industries and Gretsch is a privately owned company owned by Ed Gretsch. Gretsch has been around in the high-end transportation industry for a long time and Airstream has been in the RV industry for a long time. They are owned by a corporation, so a little bit different style. The Airstream Interstate is a little more expensive now, I don't know how much they'll negotiate too. That's another thing to keep in mind. Who is holding more firm on prices? And sometimes you just gotta go beat these dealers up to see. But to my knowledge, both hold very firm to their MSRP compared to some of the other RV manufacturers out there that will do the high price and then the huge discount. I think both of these are at the top of the game. So they have less of that haggling than you're gonna see in some of the lower end units. I've seen a few different YouTube channels that have full-timed in both of these units. I recently came across a channel called Livin' Our Vision. Brian and Michelle are full-timing in a Gretsch Strata Ion, and they've done some really cool videos testing the batteries, testing how long it takes to charge on the alternator, and just a full tour of their full-time life in that Class B Gretsch. So their channel's definitely worth checking out, and I haven't really ever talked about it, but my father was actually heavily involved in selling Airstream Energy states he was involved with brokering the chassis from mercedes-benz to airstream for about 10 years i actually interviewed him in a video that's going to be going live soon about his new rv where i had him tell a little bit of his story and his background those that don't know your past you worked a lot with mercedes-benz and airstream in the interstate What's your thoughts on the Gretsch RV? First of all, I love, love, love Sprinter-based RVs. In 2010, I was general manager of a large Mercedes-Benz dealership and we took on the Sprinter franchise. And then we established a relationship with Airstream uh, as both the chassis provider and as a retailer of the Airstream RV. So the Sprinter-based RVs are absolutely fantastic. Gretsch, we used to compete against them. They used to sell limo vans to Mayo Clinic. They're a great company and I think the more the merrier that are building on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter RV. How do you think the Strata Ion compares to the Interstate? Do you think it's an Interstate killer or what do you, what do you think? In the world of uh, good quality RVs, I think it's good to have competition and I think you're going to see each of these companies making incremental changes to the products that will only be great for the consumer. So I've known about the Airstream interstates for a long time and I recall a RV YouTube channel had an Airstream interstate at the time and I just looked them up they are in a different unit now but it was called Irene Iron Fitness and I believe they were full-timing in an Airstream interstate and that was several years ago when they were making those videos if I recall 
but I would definitely check out both of those channels and I'd be curious to see more of what their feedback is uh, living in it daily. Either way you go, you can't go wrong. Both of these vans are at the top of the game. I think this is just the best way to travel, whether you're going to harvest hosts or just doing day trips, a lot of different uses and having all of this equipment in such a small space that's so easy to drive. I'd like to hear your thoughts on which one you prefer, which one you like better. I greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.